2001. Una's going to be one years old in a week. And the World Trade Center was hit this morning by two planes. This is the world that she's coming into. Hi. I'm surprised I'm not taking Here it is, a familiar view, only there's one of them. It's apparently the other one just went down a few minutes ago, according to Maureen, who's not available for comment. <laughs> I can um, speak, I just don't feel like being She can speak, she doesn't want to be filmed. So Maureen, what happened? A week before Una's birthday, this is her world. Um, the, but well, you know what happened, both, both World Trade Center buildings were hit by airplanes that were hijacked. About 18 minutes apart. Um, about 18 minutes apart. Started just after 9 a.m. this morning, September 12th, 11th, September 11th, 2001. And one of the buildings collapsed. <clears throat> we saw it collapse. Here we Look are. Look at those flames. Look at the flames. See those flames? Yeah. Those flames are like five stories tall. And incredibly hot. Well, yes. no, we're not going to Century 21 to do the school shopping today, which Maureen's is what we have been not planning. not going to rehearsals, and she's not getting her hair Right. I closed the museum. Everyone went home. Here we are in Williamsburg from the roof. You can see other people standing on their roofs. There Isn't was a jet fighter circling around, which is the first yeah. time I think that's ever happened in U.S. Yeah, history, where we've had a jet fighter circle around. These it, are crazy times. It was the heat from the... Um, the World Trade Center from that all that fire and everything and that this caused it to collapse. They tried, they hit up high because the fire department can't get up that high and, and put out any fires. And the sprinklers aren't working because it's just too intense. The other one hit down lower, you know, halfway through the World Trade Center where they, about halfway up where they have all the equipment rooms and technical rooms and all that kind of stuff. Um, once it burnt down to that point, it collapsed. So what is this going to mean for us living in New York? I mean, it's I mean, very scary. I mean, we're probably in a state scary. of war at this point, but I don't know yeah. who's claiming, you know, if, if who's... Well, actually, there was a Palestinian group that claimed responsibility. Palestinian group, really? It's mm -hmm. so weird yes. to only see one tower. It's so weird to see I one mean, collapse. It's really but like... we don't know if they actually did do it, they just claimed responsibility. It is so weird. I know. <laughs> You're telling me it's No, a familiar Brenda, view. I completely looks lost so it. strange. So what do we do on a day like today? Stay home. Stay close to Stay each other. Stay home. Get the baby, yeah. right? Huh? Okay. I have to go and get her at daycare, right? I would get my baby. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. I don't know. Oh. oh wow. The second building just went down. So there goes the World Trade Center. It's no longer here. I'm gonna go and get Una at daycare now. There it goes. That looked like a bomb. That had to have been a bomb. You mean bombs in the plane? I don't know. I guess maybe. How did that happen? You mean they were bombed separately somehow? I can smell it now. That was so weird to be watching it on TV and then realize that it's in real life right here. So the second build. I hope Eric didn't go down to work. He was like, I was arguing with him on the phone when I heard about it from the pool and he was saying, I'm just going to go down to Wall Street. I can't believe this. Look at New York City now. It's flattened down there. Oh, you can see part. It looks like part of the thing is still up. Okay, what do we see? Is there any of it left? I'm not sure what that building is. What's that near the Woolworth building? Is that like a? Sh the, Wool it was, the Woolworth building is in was in between the World Trade Center. I don't see any of it left. What's all that smoke over there? Is that from? Is that another building? Because it seems so far south of it. That looks like it must be another. Building. Not that I want to see any more of this. <laughs> So what, well, I have no idea what this means. 
Are you able to dial out? No, no I'm just We're waiting just waiting. For dial if you just wait, sometimes the dial tone will come through. But there's so many people on the phone lines right now. How did this get orchestrated? Uh, I thought we had it's like... It's so big, yeah. It's just incredible. I'm still in shock. <laughs> oh. I feel really... Do you guys, do you guys yeah. feel shaky? Yeah. yeah. Do you want to take a walk with me or you want to... It's, it's too creepy. I just want to... Um, I, I guess I could. I mean, or I, I can just like, go on my own. I'm just going to get her in. I'm going to go now. I, I, I feel I like go we're already just... missing both buildings. I'm sure Brooklyn is sick. Luna got out of daycare early. I'm making pasta for everyone on the roof. We're watching it. Eric was in the explosion. We're very, very worried, actually. Um, but he seems okay. But we're keeping an eye on him. And there's going to be one next week. She knows how to do all kinds of things. You know, what are you eating? What are you eating? Uh, it's on. It's on? Yep. Oh, because the red light is supposed to be... Are you sure it's on? It says wreck. Oh, okay. That means it's on. Okay. Here we are. Okay, September 11, 2001. There used to be two, um, it used to be called the World Trade Center. Unfortunately, Una will never know about it because um, she's too young. This is the over there. It exploded this morning. Um, so it's not the Manhattan we used to know. It was very scary. Our friend Eric was down there in the rubble, but he's just made it home safely. I've just taken her from daycare. It's a very scary time. It will be one next week. It's a scary what time of day is it? Right now it's 12 o'clock. Maybe it's 1. You can see the smoke there in the distance. What caused it? Well, they think it's a terrorist act, so this could be the beginning of a major war. Okay, I'm going to pan to the rest of the New York skyline. There it is. It's been a very trying morning. Us. We, I went by to the daycare center to get her, and all the kids were sitting on the stoop singing songs. The teachers were all very upset, crying a little bit. The kids were trying to stay cheerful. I'll say to her one day, out your bedroom window, there used to be these two tall buildings called the World Trade Center, and now there is nothing. Where are you right now? Here we are on the roof at Louise and Tom's, the roof of our building that we've been living since 1984. I was first in the building and Kathy Bradford was second. Or was it the other way around? <laughs> so I turned it off? Yes. Okay. By just pressing it. Minutes later, the oh. battle began yeah. and then an explosion oh. from the towers crumbled to the ground. People screaming, running through the streets. We just heard a sound, like a kind of sound of something else tumbling. Maybe it's another building. Kathy's feeding Una her breakfast. We're just sitting on the roof wondering what to do. And there was a sound. Una, what do you think of this? Get under the uh, table, <laughs> table, and open your like this. Yeah. Flying shrapnel. Big friends with people. Oh, I think they're here. She's way up there. Oh. Like being like literally the other tower and watching the first one get hit. 